Well, we made it across okay. Uh, the construction's over. I was here last year and I had a lot of construction. Uh, but the construction's over. The, uh, the captain actually refused to take my money this time. Uh, he said that they're, they know the porter, who the porter is, and when they get over there, they're going to grab the money. Uh, he's going to get himself into a little bit of trouble. Uh, which is, you know, admirable. I was willing to pay the man and they wouldn't take my money. Speaks well of the Philippine people. But we're inside of here now. They got gates, steel gates up here now. The, this is all, all finished since uh, before. And once you pass through those gates and you go to the outside, you've got an option of picking up a tricycle or they've got some multi-cabs or jeepneys that you can catch to go to various points in the island. Uh, myself, that's why I wanted the motorcycle so I can come and go and I don't have to worry about dealing with uh, the tricycles. I did get a tricycle that, that took us out last year and agreed to 600 pesos. Then we got way out at, uh, at DC Lighthouse and he tried to uh, railroad us and demanded double money or he wasn't going to take us back. But I managed to defuse that and got us back okay. But uh, uh, this way I, I can travel as I wish. Well, let me try to get out and see some of the port here. Well, I'm going to pick this up and do, I'm in a tourism, tourism office here in Gimaras Point or Buena Vista Point and the, and the guides here, Joy, she's telling me a little bit about where to go. <clears throat> and how about, about that church? How old is that church? Yeah, all this church in Gimaras or this is during the World War II. World War II? Yes. They built it during yes, World War II? Yes, sir. And uh, some of its parts were elevated but the other parts were still removed uh, in the uh, materials before. Okay, was it ever damaged by the war? Yes, sir, yes. Uh, it was. Okay, uh, well, and then then, then the, the then President Lopez is the yes, other one? Yes, the Heritage Shows before Vice President Lopez. Okay. And then you can visit, sir, uh, here in Tasta San, you can find this uh, Nichun Itlang Garden Resort. The Dracheska plants in pools, where you can find some organic plants there, some okay. organic, uh, organic products okay. they produce there in, in that area, the Pitman Garden Resort. And, and then you got the Eco Park, I think I've yes, been there. Is yes. that the beach? No, sir, it's just a uh, park. Okay, there's exactly. a beach called Eco Beach. For now, it is being developed. Okay. Now, and what about the wind farms? Where are the, yes, where's sir. the wind farms? The wind farm is located here in. Yellow part of uh, Gimaras. Over here? Yes. Do you know where? Here in San Enrique. Up in yes. here? Okay. There are 27 turbines where in one barangay have two, uh, three and four turbines. Wow. They're not located say in one, one barangay. Spot. Okay. They were separated. 27 turbines. And there's more coming. There's more. Yes. They're going to be building some more here. Maybe not. No, sir. Not now? Yes. Uh, 27 turbines is about to is about to be used maybe next year. Yeah, that, that's yes, good. Yes, yes, sir. And turbines, what else? A beach is here in East Valencia, sir, if you want to go here. Beaches? Yes. Okay, well I don't have any girls with me today, so I'll do the beach trip no, maybe we, next week yeah, or the following yes. week. And then here in San Lorenzo we have two beaches. It's not located here, it's only for Buena Vista okay. spots. The Playa de Paraiso and then the uh, Vilches Beach, Beach Resort. Okay. Yes, you can, uh, you can uh, over, uh, stay there for overnight. Okay, now over here in Alibi Hold, they've got white beaches, yes, white sand here, beaches. Now what about over here? What kind of colored beaches over here? Yeah, uh, uh, it, it is, uh, the weather condition is not good here, sir. Okay. And, uh, the sands here are not white compared to this area. That's why I was asking. Yes, sir. Okay. So the white sand over here and yes. this is the dark sand over yes, on this sir. side. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. We have the dark sand in Iloilo. That's where I'm from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of a gray. Kind of a gray. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Okay. So you may visit this area, sir, here in Navalas. Yeah. I think I'm going to travel to the, the north yes, end, Buena Vista yes, today. Yes, sir. And then you can visit the Neptune Pitman Garden as well. The what now? Uh, oh, the Neptune Park, Garden? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. The owner is a retired uh, lady, I think. Oh, American yeah, or a mil or American? American, okay. In America, you can't be here and own real estate. Your your wife has got to own the real yeah, estate. Yes, yes. She's got the Filipina has to mm -hmm. own it. She married a Filipina. <clears throat> right. Lucky guy. Yes. Lucky sir. guy. Okay, yes, we're gonna end it here inside the tourism office and get out on the road. Get out on the road and see what we can't find today. I passed the police and they didn't care whether I had him or not. I'm taking the north route here on Gimmer.
somewhere it's island. I don't have a clue where I'm going. I just took off. And that's the good thing about the Philippines here. You can do that. I stopped at a roadside restaurant or a little uh, eatery just north of uh, the Jordan Landing and I run into a really interesting couple here, they're really nice, and Sandra uh, is, is cousin or family to John Villanueva from the Mobile Boulevard series, if you remember, and she's got a lovely cousin, or cousin, right? Cousin, and she's going to introduce me to her cousin. So I've come all the way to Gimaras, looking around and taking lots of videos. And it looks like her cousin's where does her cousin live? In Gimaras or in Iloilo? Ah, so the cousin lives in Iloilo. But I had to come to Gimaras to meet her. So maybe I'll meet her shortly, but she's going to hook me up with him. So uh, I'm here in Gimaras Island. I took a left hand turn and came to the north. Uh, this is called Buena Vista. Province? Is it the province? Okay, municipality. Uh, so it's the Buena Vista municipality, the same name that was on the, the terminal when we came up in the boats. Uh, so I'm going to turn around here for the rest of the day. She's got my number. She's going to give it to her cousin. And we're going to see where this uh, journey takes us. Okay, bye bye. Thank Texas. you. Texas? Huh? Texas? Texas. Oh. I just left the restaurant and I'm on the north end of Gimaras Island and in the municipality of uh, Buena Vista. Uh, I'm just going to try to drive around and get some shots. So this road's coming to an end. There's a lot of dust down there. I don't know where it goes. I'd rather not ride the motorcycle down there. We'll stay on the paved roads for right now. Don't feel that adventurous today. Um, so I'm going to turn around and make a trek back. Uh, this place is really beautiful over here. It's kind of like I, I left the world and even though Iloilo and uh, Panay Island is, is, you know, here in the Philippines, when you when I left Iloilo after being there for so long and I come back over to Gimaras, it's like I'm out in the country. Uh, big beautiful trees, palm trees, uh, coconut trees. Uh, uh, it's just great out here. Even though it's a mid-afternoon, the summer, the May is the summertime month, it's nice and it, it's nice and cool here. Lots of shade, lots, lots of, uh, there's a lot of breezes here. And I'm up at the top of one of the mountains here. We've got the radio tower behind me. So I'm going to turn around and head back and try to do, go to the, to the northwest, northeast side of, of the province here, or the municipality. Made it back to, to, the, to the, I guess it would be the, the municipality seat of uh, Buena Vista. And right here in their kind of their main 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 area, uh, you you've usually got a plaza uh, in the center of town with all the municipality uh, government offices around it, and over here they've got their basketball courts and general recreation area, and they got a stage there where they hold functions. Uh, they can throw a lot of chairs out there and do their functions on the stage and entertain a whole lot of people. And when you're talking about being out here in the province. Uh, way out here, there's uh, not as populated, so they can fit everybody in here. Uh, the police station and some of the other general offices here are across the street. The PMP, uh, the Youth Resource Learning Center, their library, and their park. Let's see if they've got anything here of significance. Uh, anything of significance. Um, and then the city hall is behind us. It's a pretty good sized building here. It's amazing. They have large churches and they've got large uh, uh, municipality buildings in all these small towns. Municipality of Buena Vista, province of Guimaras. Beautiful building. And then they've got your park area here. Nice statue. This is one of the, I believe there's seven provinces over here I'm, without getting everything dug up, I've, or municipalities. Maybe it's five, but I think it's seven uh, municipalities over here. And this is town, it's pretty quiet. It's Wednesday afternoon. 
12.45, pretty quiet. Well, let me cut this short, get back on the road. I'm in the north end of uh, Buena Vista a municipality, it's kind of like a province or a county out here. <clears throat> and I just had to stop and take this picture. I'm, I'm getting off some way back in some back roads. I'm, I'm using my uh, GPS so I can kind of see where I'm at. Although I don't know where any of the features are, the tourist items, but it's fun to get out here in the country, just take off, and there's just miles and miles of tropical beauty here. Uh, they got these, all these fields are plowed. Uh, it looks like they've got some rice coming up here, and they've got, this is terraced all the way around. But uh, it's been real, real dry. That's why you see a lot of brown in the, in the soil. And I'm panning out over here in this little coconut plantation. You can see where the green is starting to come through, and that's probably from the rain that we've had. It's been very, very dry, beginning of our rainy season. Got some goats and some water buffalo tied off at the trees, underneath both of those trees. Goats are killing out the weeds. And you got a big coconut, uh, the coconut plantation wraps all the way around up to the road there. But like I said in some of my earlier videos, Americans would pay, pay millions of dollars for this view and that kind of landscaping and it comes naturally here. Well, I'm going to head down to the water. This is going to take us down to the coast and see what's going to find down there. Manual labor out here in the fields. Looks like a couple, a husband and wife team out there. They're doing manual labor on that terrace out there. Looks like they get some vegetables. They look like broadleaf plants of some kind in this field. But the rest of this, I'm sure, is rice fields. Looks like we've got a lady enjoying her rest here, her sleep here. It's kind of just a little outbuilding they used to wait for jeepneys or tricycles, get them out of the rain. But I stopped on top of this hill here because of this terracing. This is really pretty.